Hey guys, what's up? It's not Sabrina Nicole here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a beach cake. Like, background is going to change completely by the end of the video because I actually made most of this cake at my old house and then came to my new house to finish it because I, I did move, which is also why everything looks different. Like, <laughs> um,. So yeah, and also palm tree is supposed to like look way better, but again, I moved it. I didn't bring a lot of my supplies though because I was basically done. It was uh, for Mother's Day, I made it for my mom because she loves the beach. And um, it was originally supposed to have like at least four leaves. And by the time I was like done with it, it, it had to because it kept breaking. And like you could totally, fix that but I didn't have the stuff to so uh, I had two leaves but um, I would also recommend putting like a wire in it there's some I know I had them for like my gum paste flowers um, but I would recommend that but I didn't know where they were because everything was pretty much packed up so uh, yeah but whatever um, anyway let's get on into the video so you want to make all of your gum paste decorations at least a day before you make the cake so they can dry. So the first thing I did was make the leaves for the palm tree and I started by dyeing the gum paste green and I'm just using a cake board because um, it's easier to clean up that way but you could use a plate or just some like plastic wrap and powdered sugar, make sure you use powdered sugar otherwise it will stick to everything. Then take off a little bit and make sure your hands are powdered sugar, roll it into a teardrop shape and flatten it and make sure it's not too thick. And again, I would recommend putting a wire through the middle just so it's a little stronger but I packed all of mine so I don't, I don't know where they are. Then take a toothpick and draw a line down the middle and then take a knife and cut little strips uh, along both sides. put them on a crinkled up napkin or paper towel to dry so that they are not completely straight and flat. That would, yeah. Flat's a better word for that. Okay, anyway. Then dye some uh, gum paste 10 and roll out and flatten a circle. This will be the base for the um, palm tree so it doesn't completely fall apart. Then make a long like snake and then I put a straw in the middle of it um, because I packed up all my dowels as well but I would recommend a wooden dowel because wood is stronger than a straw. Then use some water to close up the seam and smooth it out best you can but it's not a super big deal because palm trees aren't completely smooth anyway. Then use a straw to poke a hole in the base. Then take a toothpick and just score or scratch up the base of the palm tree. We're just going to ignore what it looks like because it's a tree. It's a tree. Then 
take some lemon extract and green food dye and paint the leaves with it. Do the same thing with the trunk of the tree, just with brown. The next thing I made was a beach ball, and I made it in a very convoluted, difficult way. I would recommend you to make it by rolling out white gum paste and then using food dye to paint it like a um, beach ball. Not, not what I'm doing. Also, a non serrated knife works best, but I, again, they're packed away, so I use this very serrated knife and it was difficult so Then use some water and a little bit more gum, gum paste to put the leaves on. And I would recommend doing this one at a time and propping them up on something as they dry. And if you had wires, you could like stick them into the trunk, which would probably make it stronger. Then just make the cake. I use the box cake because I'm lazy and it's red velvet because that's my mom's favorite. And I just left the mixing in because I thought it looked kind of cool. So. just bake the cake and I just used butter and flour to keep the cake mix from sticking and I made two layers um, then on a different cake board put your first layer of cake then some cream cheese frosting or whatever frosting goes well with your flavored cake um, and then the next cake Cover that entire thing with frosting and then put it in the fridge to chill. Then I dyed some more cream cheese frosting blue um, for the water and put that all around the cake as well. And I wouldn't recommend using a spoon because spoons aren't the best thing to frost with, but I'm sure you already know my reasoning for using a spoon. And this icing does not have to be completely smooth because it's supposed to look like water anyway. Then crush up some graham crackers to look like sand and put that wherever you want sand to be on your cake. You could also just have no sand, but that's your choice.
I took some of the just white cr crossing and put that where the water and the sand meets. And yes, there's some sand in my water, but it's fine, okay? I picked it out later. Um, and then you can kind of blend it together so it's not so funny looking. And you can also put strips of white in the blue. And I would recommend taking a toothpick for this. I didn't have any toothpicks at this house, so I had to do that when I got to the other one. And just kind of make it look wavy. Because it's water. put on your palm tree and beach ball and you're done. Hopefully your uh, palm tree doesn't look as sad as mine. <laughs>